Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya. Hello, everyone. So today I feel like sharing a reverse case, the reverse case of Chang Li Xia. So this is a reverse case which I happened to assist Nian Fo, and this happened on last Thursday, on the sixth of July in the afternoon. So I would like to provide some background information to the story and how I got involved. Uh, so as some of you know, I'm currently residing in Melbourne, Australia, and there is actually a huge Pure Land community here. And uh, there's also the Pure Land Learning Center in Melbourne. For those who don't know, uh, there are actually Pure Land Learning Centers all over the world, uh, but mostly uh, only Chinese and Vietnamese go there and. Every week they will practice Nian Fo. And in the Pure Land Learning Center in Melbourne, they also have a huge assist Nian Fo group. So basically, if they know of anyone who is at a time of near death and they would like people to go and assist Nian Fo, they will post information in the group. And for anyone who is free, they can go and assist Nian Fo. So this is a really a great service. And I hope. In the future, like everywhere in the world, like people will be able to have this kind of service. Like assisting them for is also quite important for some people. If their faith in Amitabha Buddha is not so strong, or if their Nian Fo practice is not so strong, then assisting Nian Fo is quite important. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, how to assist Nian Fo, you can also read uh, the Patriarch Ying Guang's letter, the three important matters at the time of death, which I have also translated, and it's available on our website. I'll also drop the link below. And I'll also maybe uh, make more videos in the future about how to assist Nian Fo for those who are interested. So I saw this message that was posted in a group, uh, maybe about Tuesday last week, and uh, the message said there is this woman called Chang Li Xia who was at the final stage of stomach cancer, and she would very much like people to go there to assist Nian Fo. So on Tuesday, I was actually quite busy, and I checked in with uh, the people there. There were already some people who. Were assisting Nian Fo for her on Tuesday, and I check in to see, you know, if I can come in on either Wednesday or Thursday. Uh, I wanted to see whether uh, the situation was like really, really serious, whether she would just die very soon or there was still a bit of time. And the person who was there, who were assisting Nian Fo there, uh, he told me that she was not gonna leave yet. There should still be some time, so you can come in on Wednesday and Thursday. So they were also not so sure, you know, when exactly she will go. But it seems there was still a bit of time for her. And on Wednesday, I happened to be involved in something, so I didn't go. And on Thursday. I went. I went in the afternoon at two thirty p.m. and she attained rebirth at three thirty. I really, really quick. Um, so I felt it was maybe also arranged by Amitabha Buddha. How I really sort of came in in the last moment of her life. When I arrived there, there was also a Vietnamese nun who was assisting Nian Fo for her, but she couldn't speak Chinese. So she couldn't communicate with the patient, and the patient was also not Nian Fo. Her ex-husband was also there. The ex-mother-in-law was also there. So the ex-husband did not believe in any of these things. But the good thing is that he respected uh, his ex-wife's uh, choice. Uh, the ex-wife wanted people to be there to. Uh, name for for her, so it was really good. Uh, he allowed us to do whatever uh, that was needed. Uh, so I talked to her in Chinese. I obviously she was not uh, looking well, a uh, very very skinny, uh, very pale, and I could tell that she was quite agitated. Uh, maybe the room temperature was quite hot. The heater was on. Uh, maybe she felt uh, quite hot. Uh, she was not actually Nian Fo, um, even though there were other people there who were assisting Nian Fo for her. But she was not following. Uh, she 
did not seem like she wanted to kneel for. She felt a bit agitated and maybe、uh, a bit impatient, and maybe there was something that she、uh, maybe could not let go of. So that was how I felt I, when I saw her.、Uh, obviously, she was not kneel for. If she was kneel for, we could tell from her mouth. Although she was so weak, she could not really speak. Uh, but she was also conscious. Uh, she understood what we were doing, so that's why it's important that、uh, to give、uh, some guidance、uh, for the people at the time of death,、uh, especially if their faith is not too strong or if their practice is not so diligent. So I think、uh, Chang Li Xia、uh, was a Buddhist.、Uh, maybe she believed in Amitabha Buddha,、uh, but. Uh, maybe in her daily life she wasn't practicing much,、uh, so this is also common that we see,、uh, even with some、uh, nianfo practitioners,、uh, maybe they don't practice much, and also in some rebirth cases that we see,、uh, initially those people they don't want to nianfo, although they want people to be there to assist nianfo for them. But the purpose of assisting nianfo is really to、uh, build up the faith. Uh, in the patient and to get the patient to kneel for with us, right? It's not like you kneel for and then the person who、uh, want to attain rebirth,、uh, he or she doesn't kneel for. Then this doesn't work. So、uh, no one can kneel for for the other. But the purpose of assisting kneel for is really to、uh, try to get the patient,、uh, the person who is about to die, to also kneel for with us. So. That was a bit of problem that she was not really kneel for, and she felt agitated, and maybe she had other attachment that she did not sort of let go of. And then so first, I、uh, comforted her. I told her that、uh, you really need to let go. I, this is really a critical, a very important moment. I, it is important that、uh, you actually follow us to kneel for. So I kept saying this. I kept telling her, you know, the body is an illusion. You cannot be attached to the body. And she was maybe experiencing some discomfort in her body. So I told her to really let go of the attachment to the body. And I told her, you know, at this time, I only. Amitabha Buddha can save you. Only Amitabha Buddha can help you. And nobody else can help you. I, if you don't kneel for now, I, this is not good. You must kneel for with us. Even if you can't kneel for with your mouth, so she was obviously very weak and she could not talk. But you must kneel for in your heart. And you must be mindful of Amitabha Buddha. You must trust Amitabha Buddha. Many people have seen Amitabha Buddha. They have attained rebirth in the Pure Land. So at the time of death, if you kneel for with us, you will definitely see Amitabha Buddha. You can definitely follow the Buddha to go to the Pure Land. So I just kept telling her this. I I kept telling her to really let go of all her attachment, let go of everything. Do not think about other things. I just follow us to kneel for. I really have deep faith in Amitabha Buddha, and I tell her to really believe. In the Western Pure Land, so、uh, there isn't like a fixed format of how we can assist them for for the dying. I particularly、uh, with this guidance,、uh, whatever you say, as long as you can help the person to build up their faith in Amitabha Buddha, to build up their vow to go to the Pure Land. To build up their faith in the pure land, and to get them start to kneel for, then you are successful. So eventually, she let go and she started kneel for with us. It was really obvious. So initially, she was kind of agitated, impatient, and not kneel for. And after I kept telling her all of this, she eventually let go and started to kneel for. You can tell from her mouth, like she started to follow us. I. Ah,、uh, so like that, she couldn't make any voice, but you could tell that she was actually kneel for. So we also had a kneel for machine next to her with Master Chin Kong's、uh, slow pace of ah me to for. 
So if you were to assist Yan Fo for the dying, right, at the time of death, you just recite Ah Mi To Fo, right, not too fast, not too slow, but a bit slower than usual. So it's the easiest for uh, the patient to follow. And she started to follow us to Nian Fo, like Ah Mi To Fo, like this. And she was doing really well. I was also giving her encouragement, right? really t trying to uh, build up her faith and to have her to keep the pure mindfulness of Amitabha Buddha. So it's really important, right? Our last thoughts determine right, where we go. If we want to go to the pure land in this life, it's important that at the time of death, right, we need to be mindful of Amitabha Buddha. Our mind is not deluded. We have this deep faith and we vow to go to the pure land and you will definitely see the Buddha. And after a while, so not too long after she followed us to Nianfo, all of a sudden like, she screamed out, Amitofo, like that, like really like that. Initially she could not even talk. And all of a sudden she said it really loudly. She said, Amitofo, and not only that, uh, initially, her eyes uh, could barely open. Uh, she could just barely open. She was just so weak. And then her eyes became very big, uh, just like my eyes, uh, just like normal eyes. And she was looking into the air uh, as if she was seeing Amitabha Buddha. So I felt in that moment Amitabha Buddha was maybe already there, but it was in different dimensions, so other people could not see. But she had these big eyes and she was looking into the air. I really, really peaceful. Really, really peaceful. And very soon after, I really, really not long after, she vomited out uh, two bits of blood right, because she had a stomach cancer final stage. I think that's the symptom uh, for people with stomach cancer. But when she vomited, there was no pain. No suffering, no nothing. I really do this really calm and peaceful expression. And then she left. We actually did not know the exact moment when she exited her body, like when she followed the Buddha, but it's in those moments. But we don't know exactly when because it was so peaceful. Like it was just like, like she was still uh, alive, I really, really peaceful, and the uh, energy in the room was just so good. And later, the nurses came in and checked and told us uh, she had already left. So we really did not know. I, it was uh, just in those time I, when we were assisting Nianfo, and she screamed out Amitofo, and she looked at it in the air, and not soon after she left. We didn't know exactly the moment that she left. So maybe after she spit it out the blood and then she left. But it was just so peaceful. Right? Her expression, her face was so peaceful. I right? not look like dying. I right? definitely she had attained rebirth in the pure land. And also within that moment, I, I felt uh, there was some kind of light that came in and left but very quickly. And very subtle. It's like a kind of sunlight, a sunlight that came in and left, a little bit like that. Uh, so I don't know if other people have felt that, but I felt, and the atmosphere, the energy in the room was just so good, I so peaceful, so tranquil. And then the nurse came in and told us that she had already left. So. She had definitely attained rebirth in the pure land. I, sometimes they don't need to be any kind of auspicious signs. I, as long as the person was Nianfo, she believed in it, she wanted to go, she Nianfo at the time of death, then she would definitely be able to see the Buddha and go to the pure land. I, why? This resonates with the Sutra I, in the Infinite Life Sutra, uh, the 18th vow of Amitabha Buddha. I says, if we sincerely believed, I, even for 10 recitations, at the time of death, we can go with the Buddha. So 
Ten recitations is not just in your normal life, but really at a time of death. Right? This is very clearly、uh, stated in the Amitabha Sutra. Right? At the time of death, if the person's mind is not diluted by、right? the person Nianfo, then the person can go to the Pure Land. So this is a、uh, very、uh, clearly evident in Chang Li Xia's rebirth case.、Uh, she had definitely attained rebirth in the Pure Land. Again, sometimes they don't need to be any auspicious signs. If the person is mindful at the time of death, he or she is mindful of Amitabha Buddha. He or she believed in Amitabha Buddha. He or she vowed to go to the Pure Land. I face vow and mindful. This is sufficient. I is sufficient for us to say they have definitely attained rebirth in the Pure Land, especially. If they left a really really calm,、uh, it's not like the normal death we see, where people really suffered a lot. They had a lot of pain. I、uh, but for people who attain rebirth, there's no pain, no suffering. They really left so well, so peaceful and so tranquil. And I apologize, I didn't take any photos or videos. I just felt it was not appropriate for me to take out my phone in that moment,、uh, because I was assisting Yan Fo and also the ex-husband, the ex-mother-in-law. They were also there.、Uh, they were not really Buddhist, so they would not really understand what we were doing. So、uh, out of、uh, politeness, I didn't take out my phone.、Uh, so a lot of rebirth cases actually happened. Right, but with no photos and videos recorded, also for、uh, similar reasons, there were also other people there, and it was not really convenient to take any photos or videos. So after Chang Li Xia's rebirth,、uh, the Royal Melbourne Hospital agreed to、uh, keep her body for eight hours, and I think the ex-husband actually negotiated for sixteen hours. So it was very good, very kind that the hospital. Uh, allow us to do that,、uh, but the thing is, they could not really completely not touch the deceased body.、Uh, so immediately after Chang Li Xia saw rebirth, the nurses came in, and then they had to clean her, and then later the doctor came in to sort of have a final check. Although we have already communicated that we wish. They would not touch the deceased body for a minimum of eight hours, but they couldn't really do it. It was really like a standard procedure at the hospital. But thankfully, you know, Chang Li Xia had already、uh, gone to the Pure Land, so really it did not matter、uh, what they did to her body because she had already attained rebirth.、Uh, it was very clear, so it didn't matter. So, uh, recently I really heard a lot of rebirth cases uh, that happened, uh, amongst the Pure Land circles, uh, their family, their friends, uh, who attain rebirth, uh, people assist in Yan for the for them. So I'll try to compile more of those uh real life stories, and I'll share uh more of the rebirth cases with all of you in the near future. So really, have deep faith in Amitabha Buddha. Have no doubt. Right, with faith, vow, and practice, we can definitely attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land. And we should really、uh, begin our practice now. I、uh, not wait till too late. I、uh, really try to、uh, let go more of our attachment in our everyday life. And to keep the pure mindfulness of Amitabha Buddha more often in our life, I、right? to practice Nian for more often, to have deep faith, then one can definitely attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land in this lifetime. For real Pure Land practitioners,、uh, we shouldn't expect there will always be people there to assist Nian for for us at the time of dying. Because impermanent can happen at any time in any form, and we may not be able to find anybody to assist Nianfo for us when impermanence happens. So, in our daily life, we should really build up our faith and vow towards attaining rebirth to the Pure Land, and also we should practice Nianfo diligently. So, regardless of what circumstances we might encounter. Our faith and vows would not change, and we can always think of Amitabha no matter what. So we should really 
cultivate the habit of mindful and really deepening our faith. Right? Our faith should be unshakable, and also our practice is strong. Then we don't really need anybody to assist mindful for us at the time of rebirth. What's the most ideal is that we are very diligent in our mindful practice with deep faith and vow. Then we will be able to know our time of rebirth. Earlier, I sometimes even much earlier, and we can just perform rebirth for others、uh, to show that Amitabha Buddha and the Pure Land are indeed real.、Right? The Buddha will not lie to us. I、uh, for those who just if they kneel for maybe once or twice in their life,、uh, but not at the time of death, then they cannot attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land in this life. However. Uh, the seed of Bodhi has already been planted in their layer consciousness. So in the future lifetimes, they will also be saved. So if we know of anybody, I we should also try to、uh, spread the seed of Amitabha Buddha to plant the seed of Bodhi in them. And in future lifetimes, they will also be saved by Amitabha Buddha, if not this lifetime. But for this lifetime, it's also important that we need to kneel for. At the time of our exit, I、uh, to be mindful of Amitabha Buddha, and we can definitely attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land. So I hope this helps. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya.